Okay, so here's Art Frenzel. He's uh, the client who uh, we had the job. So, Art, tell me, what uh, when you first started the project, what made you decide, what was the determining factor in, in hiring us to, to do your job for you? Well, um, I did a little bit of background checking and I found out that you guys had quite a bit of uh, um, experience in fire remediation. So I didn't want just a regular contractor. I needed somebody who had experience with fire damage. Fabulous. And so when we told you about the... Uh, the insurance company and what to expect with that. Uh, clients oftentimes, uh, uh, the, the trust is a big issue and just trusting that we know what we're doing. Huge and issue. I didn't have a clue. There was um, there were checks and double checks and working with the insurance company was important. I'll tell you, we had a good insurance company. Um, they sent uh, their um, auditors out right away and full of questions that I couldn't answer. Uh, Mark came out. Um, no, I'm sorry. It wasn't... Randy. It was, it was Randy. Randy came out and really just kind of took over that process from me. And the insurance company specifically wanted to work with a company that had experience with um, fire remediation because um, it's a nightmare for them and they understand the process of bidding and they understand, um, the insurance company understands that if I, they, they gave me the ability to sub that out and send it to whoever I wanted to. I could have hired my brother-in-law to do it if I wanted to. But it would have been, problematic because every step of the way there had to be an exchange of documentation and there had to be tracking and there had to be approval and Randy took care of all that for me and um, really I got to get on with the business of running my shop what was left of it the parts that didn't burn while um, um, GGHR took care of um, the repair work. Okay, excellent. And then the code upgrades were kind of a big issue with the you, too. The code upgrades were a big issue, and they came as a surprise. Um, my roof hadn't been earthquake strapped. And prior to um, the fire, the previous owner of the building um, only did part of the job and was going to wait for the strapping until after we needed a roof. And it turned out that um, the fire burned a percentage of the roof to where the insurance company needed to replace the entire roof. And that raised the red flag with the city, and um, that caused us to then have to get the earthquake upgrades, which were covered also by my insurance, and pulling extra permits, and um, Randy and his crew took care of that also. So I didn't have to do any of that. Fabulous. And so, so would you recommend a design-build specialist? Oh, absolutely. To... Absolutely. Okay. Now, um, design-build specialist is the new name. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> um, uh, this fire was last year and it was done in a timely manner and the crew cleaned up after themselves and really basically um, all I had to do was uh, pay the bills and receive a copy of the uh, signed off final. So. Fabulous. Okay, I right, well, appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you.